our focus for today and the marketing will be on promotion okay so uh, these are our learning objectives by the end of the lesson the student should be able to explain promotion and then also state and explain the types of promotion okay all right so first and foremost we have to look at the definition for promotion promotion in is any communication used to inform persuade and remind people about an organization's products or services so these are some of the key ways inform persuade and remind people about an organization's products or services that is what promotion is all about okay all right so someone may ask why is it prudent to make use of promotion in a business setting uh, one we are saying that it establishes an image for a business or a product so once the product is out promoting it or creating the awareness definitely people will come to know about a product that's one and also the business because the product goes with the business or the business goes with the product both go hand in hand okay so aside that also people get to know more about the product what it does the problems it solves etc also it's also help people to identify where to get such products that's the third point it directs people to the point of purchase because usually when products are being promoted at the end of the day they tell you where you can purchase such products okay either in bulk or in small quantities sometimes it is on the labeling when the product is being labeled where, where you want more there are some contacts or places where you can get more of the products all these are made available okay um the fourth one we said answer consumer queries uh definitely once you are creating the awareness um you must also make room for feedback from your consumers because it is true that you know what you are doing right and what you may not be doing right okay so usually certain products when you look at the label they'll tell you that for any problem or any questions or queries contact so so and so information uh, number or you can send them an email all these are made available okay so when someone may ask why is it necessary to promote a product what are some of the merits it establishes an image for a business or the product. Two, it creates awareness of a new product. Three, direct people to point of purchase. And then last one, answers consumer queries. So these are some of the merits that comes with promotion. Okay, all right. Um, please, any question before we proceed? Okay, then we can move on to the next slide. Now, we'll be looking at the types of promotion. We said promotion has to do with creating awareness. We said it has to do with the fact that you have to inform. Promotion at the end of the day informs your customers about your products. It persuades them also. So we we're looking at what are some of the means that this can be achieved what are the means so types of promotion one we have advertising advertising we have sales promotion personal selling and then public relation uh, i'll take them one after the other okay 
starting off with advertising. Yeah, but I'd like to find out from you because most of it, you make use of the word, oh, advertise, they are advertising this product. I saw it here, that and that. So I'd like to find out from you, when you get the word advertising, well, what comes into your mind? Or what does that mean? Advertising. Anybody who is really can then raise up his or your hand and answer. When you hear the word advertising, what comes into your mind? Or what does it mean? The process of informing the public about the availability of your goods and services. All right. So that's Kumi's explanation. All right. So just to add to that, usually it is said to be a paid form uh, of non-personal non presentation and then promotion of ideas, goods, or services. Um, the word paid comes in because most often when you hear of such products, it's not for free, okay? So usually it's been defined as any form of paid non-personal presentation. So the non-personal talks about the fact that most often you don't meet them on one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so even if you if you might have watched an algorithm on the telly, you are just watching the video. You don't have any personal interaction with them. Okay, so it is any paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of ideas, goods, and services. Okay, so when we are talking about advertising. That is what we're talking about, okay? All right. So, we have certain mediums, okay? The plural is media, the singular is medium. So, in able to achieve your objective of advertising, there are certain media that ought to be used okay or there are certain mediums that ought to be used one we have the television i think most of us are familiar with that one uh, let me find out from the class um jones all right jones i'm sent uh caleb tell me of any advert or any products that you might have heard of from the television. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gino. Oh, all right. Okay. So what particular do you like about the Gino advert? Say, the song. Yeah. All right. Okay. The song. So that is it. He, hear, he hears the song and watch the video but do not have any personal interaction with them. So that is one medium that can be used to advertise a product, okay? All right, and also whilst doing that, you must be able to make use of certain things that will make customers or consumers remember your product each and every time. You realize that he said he likes the song. You get it, yes. And I believe that in the song, you can hear the name of the product also. So these are some of the techniques that ought to be employed if you are going by search medium, okay? Then the second one, we are talking about the press. So here the press, we are talking about the magazines, the journals, etc. okay? The, those are the press. So sometimes when you pick a magazine, you realize that products are being advertised in the magazine. Or when you see your, the graphics, let's, let's use the daily graphic for instance, you could realize that a whole page can be dedicated to 
a product, a whole page. You get it. That's the that's also one medium that can be used to promote your product. Okay. Then the third one we have the radio. The radio. This is also an electronic means of transmitting information to your consumers. We also have the radio. So most often you might hear of selling products. Um, I would like to find out from um, Evelyn. Evelyn, which product do you get to hear of as a result of it being advertised on the radio? Joy ointment. Joy ointment. All right. Thank you. So had it not been for the radio, probably she listens to radio more often unless she gets to know of joy ointment on the radio. Bear in mind that each of these mediums have their merits and demerits. Okay, so before you decide on any of them, you must be able to do, you must be able to analyze. Okay, take into consideration the target consumers, okay, the type of product, etc. We'll be looking at some of the things later, some of the things that ought to be considered before choosing a medium. Okay, to promote your product. We'll be looking at that later. All right. So we talked about television, the press, the radio. Then the third one, the poster or posters. Okay, poster. So then most often, back in the days, this is normally used where you see people moving about. Even still, it's, it's being done. Okay, you see people moving about, sharing a piece of paper with some information on it. To people okay or just to create the awareness about the product and these posters i think usually posters we refer to those which are which are not big size as posters but when when it becomes so large then that's what we refer to them as uh, billboards okay so i know some of you might have heard about billboards before so basically they are quite large so you see the products being displayed on the billboard. Okay, yes. So that is also one of the uh, mediums of creating awareness about your product. Because then there are people passing by. Okay, when people see such huge um, billboards, they feel like, mm, let me get to see what is on it. Okay. That is where people, some people will get to know about what your business is into, the product you sell, etc. You get it. All right, we also have the cinema. 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 So what happens is that most often, uh, I think one of the most popular cinema or cinema halls that we know of is the one which is at Akamo, okay? Or even National Theater, all this. But what happens most often is that uh, sometimes, whilst the activity of the day is going on, or probably a movie is supposed to be screened, okay, maybe during break time or midway or even before the movie commences, there are some people that can decide to showcase their products to you, okay? So they'll tell you, okay, this is the product they have, etc. Sometimes you realize that even when they are show when when they are showing some movies, okay, they'll make some few seconds. Okay, it's also part of the video, but they'll dedicate few seconds of that movie just to create awareness about a product. Okay, that is also a technique that can be employed, okay, to promote a product. Then the last one we have the direct mail, okay, direct mail. So yeah, usually. This is where uh, mail are being sent to uh, prospective consumers of our product. Okay, so here yeah, they decide to send you a mail about their product. I've received some of us who have emails. Sometimes you may be receiving certain emails concerning some products. Okay, yes. So these are some of the advertising mediums that can be used or the advertising media that 
can be used as far as advertising is concerned. Okay. All right. So please, any question before we proceed? And that advertising, that's definition, the mediums that can be used. All right. So we can proceed. Uh, under this, I'm giving a reading assignment. Uh, go and read on the merits and demerits of each of these mediums. Okay. The advantages and disadvantage, uh, the disadvantages of advertising media. Okay. Look at each of them. Study each of them. And then try looking at the merits and the demerits of each of these mediums. All right. Thank you. Now, let's move on to types of advertising. Types of advertising. One, well, we have institutional advertising. Institutional advertising. Already we know what advertising means. So when the institution has near it, okay, here you realize that the focus is on promoting or creating awareness about the existence of an organization. Okay, yeah, so here the focus is more of organization based. So, for instance, maybe someone has set up a new organization and would like to create awareness about the existence of that. Okay, so here the focus is more on the organization. That's why we call it institutional advertising. You get it? All right. Then, the second one, we have informative advertising, informative. So here, your concern is about just creating an awareness, okay, about a product. It may be a product, okay, it may be just providing an information about a product or even an organization here also, okay. So all the informations that is needed by consumers or your prospective consumers will be made available under this form of advertising. That's what we call it informative, inform, okay, information. All right. Then the third one, persuasive advertising. Persuasive. To persuade, from the way persuade. So when you're talking about persuading, it has to do with the fact that you're trying to convince someone, right? Yes. So yeah, you are just trying to convince a prospective customer to buy your product, okay? So you are trying to convince the person and also trying to stimulate pitches because your, your intention is, oh, okay, let me convince him or her to buy the product. So at the end of the day, a person, your, your objective is a person should buy the product. Okay, that's what we call it persuasive. So you see, when you go, somebody, the person will be saying all sorts of things just to make sure that you are being convinced and then purchase this product. Okay, so that is persuasive advertising. The fourth one, we have reminder advertising, reminder. So to remind someone about something, then probably it means that the thing might have been in existence before, right? So this, this type of advertising can also be used when probably the, the product has been in a system for quite some time and then you are just trying to inform them, okay? Trying to tell them that, oh, okay, my product is still in the system. You get it? So you are just trying to remind, that's what we call reminder advertising. So the product is already in the system, but probably you just want to retreat the fact that my product is in the system. And sometimes this is usually done when 
some business when some businesses or companies realize that there is uh, uh what sales is they are making sales at a lower or a slower pace okay so sales is not moving on fast as they expected so they would like to remind you about the fact that my product is still in the system you get it so that is what reminder advertising is uh, before I move on, I'd like to make room for any questions, suggestions, or contribution on the types of advertising. Yeah. Uh, Jones, I think you join us late. Um, Jones, Shina, any question, class, before we proceed? So those who just join us, we haven't moved far, okay? We are on promotion. Uh, so we look yes, at it. All right. We looked at the definition for promotion. And then we looked at the merits of promotion. From there, we, we moved on to the types of promotion. Types of promotion. Where we said we had advertising. We have sales promotion. We have personal selling and then public relations. Okay. Yes. So we'll be taking them one after the other. But our focus is now on advertising, which is one of the types of promotion. Okay. So we also look at the definition of promotion, uh, uh, sorry, we looked at the definition for advertising. From there, we move on to look at some advertising mediums or advertising media, okay? Some of the ways in which uh, advertising can be done, some of the forms, okay? When we, we, we talked about television, the use of television, radio, the press, direct mail posters yes from there we move on to the types of advertising okay so that is just something before those who join the select yeah so institutional advertising informative advertising persuasive advertising reminder advertising all right since there is no question. Um, I like to proceed. All right. So, the fifth one. We move on to mass advertising. Mass advertising. So, with the mass advertising, what happens is that usually, let's say, distributors or promoters of of similar products, okay, can decide to come together and then advertise their products, okay. So let's assume um, you are all into uh, the pro pro production of um, beverages, okay. Uh, so definitely you are not going to do the same thing, even though they are all beverage, okay, but it will be of different kinds. You get it. So at the end of the day, you all come together and then advertise your products together. Okay. And one of the reasons why this is done is to ensure that you reduce or cut cost to the minimum level. Okay. So you don't want to do it alone, whereby you have to bear all the costs. You get it. So what will happen here is that you are trying to share the cost with other producers because definitely they'll be coming on board. And once you are coming on board, definitely you must also have something to, to contribute as far as the cost is concerned. So you don't just bring your product, definitely you must pay part of the advertising cost. So 
the, the, the major rationale behind this type of advertising is to ensure that cost is reduced. Okay. And most of it rather is, is not so common. You get it? It is not so common. With the mass advertising, it's not so common. Okay, because most organizations will feel like, no, let me push my brand alone. My brand, yeah. I don't want to share it with anybody. You get it? So that is for the mass advertising. Then the last one has to do with the direct advertising. So here, yeah, what happens is that your focus is more on your target market, okay? So for instance, if you want to advertise, a product, let's say you want to advertise a cosmetic product, okay? And you know, most of you ladies are the one who use it a lot, okay? So what happens is that you can decide to advertise that in, let's say, a female magazine. Okay, so let's assume there is a magazine mainly for females. You can decide to advertise your product there. Okay, uh, with the direct advertising also, let's say, for example, there is, um, you have a product that you know can be patronized more by children. Okay, then with the direct advertising, probably on Saturdays, they do have um, kids program on television. You get it. So you can also decide to advertise your product during the time the program is being broadcast. Okay. So that is that with the direct advertising. So here, the information goes directly to the consumer or your target market. Okay. It goes directly, unlike some other forms of advertising. Okay. Yeah. So these are the types of advertising. Please do not confuse it. We have advertising media or advertising mediums. And we have types of advertising. Take note of the differences so that when you are being asked for to give some forms of advertising media, you will know it wouldn't confuse it. Okay. All right. Now let's move on to the next slide. That is if there is no question. All right. So if there is no question, I would like to ask a question. I would like to ask a question. Um, who has it spoken? Um, who has spoken? All right. So um, Jessica. I would like you to tell us something brief about um, any of the types of advertising, any of them. Just tell us something brief about any of the types of advertising. We have seven here, choose anyone at all, and then tell us something brief about it before we proceed. Direct advertising. All right. Mm -hmm. This advertising deals with the sending of message to the person who um who wants to buy a product or service. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Would you like to add more? No. All right, sit down. All right, so let's just proceed to the next one. So we are still on advertising, okay? 
then we'll be looking at factors influencing the choice of advertising media. Factors influencing the choice of advertising media. What do you think will be some of the things that will influence you as far as selecting any of those mediums are concerned? And please, them, them, you already know advertising mediums, right? That's the television, the radio, the press, etc. Okay? They're asking, what are some of the things that may influence your choice? They are there, there are many, there are more than four. So what are some of the things that may influence your choice? That at the end of the day, you may say, oh, okay, uh, I am settling on this. This is the medium I would like to use to create awareness about my product. Okay, all right, one, and first and foremost, cost of the advertising media, cost. So one of the things that you may want to look at, okay, is the cost involved, okay? There are certain mediums, or there is a particular medium that most people would like to use to advertise their product. But because of the money involved, okay, they may not be willing to go there, okay? Because of the amount they will have to pay. And they realize that mm, it's too much for me. Then they realize that they consider other alternative. So one of the factors that ought to be considered before finally settling on a medium is the cost factor, okay? So that is it. If you realize that your organization can be able to afford, then no problem, you get it, no problem at all. But when it happens that probably the organization cannot afford it, then they will determine which other medium to look at, okay? So one of the major factors is the cost factor. All right, then three, types of products offered for sale. Types of products offered for sale. Okay, all right. So there are some products, okay, probably people just need to know about the products and its benefits. Okay, there is no particular way of go using the product. Okay, so that one you can just create and leave the information there and that is all. But there are some products you can't just talk, 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 talk and that's and say no. There are some products that you may need demonstrations in order to communicate effectively to your consumers about how it ought to be used, you get it? So if we are talking about demonstrations, then definitely you may need a video to do that, okay? Then that's where probably the, um, that's where the television may come into mind that, oh, okay, then I'll have to use the television as my medium of advertising because you would like to know how people will have to use the product, how to apply it step by step to be able to achieve the desired result that they want. Okay, so that is it. So your product will determine or the type of product you have will also influence the medium that ought to be used. Okay, so that is that. Um, please, if you have any question on these two factors, you may ask before we proceed. Okay.
Then the third one, government regulations. Government regulations. You know, we do not live in a country where there are no rules and regulations. Okay? There are authorities or the organizations that are supposed to be um, screening it from adverts, okay? Even before they'll be displayed on the television, they need to be approved, okay? That is why sometimes they will tell you that um, uh, usually some products, before they advertise them, after the advertisement, they'll tell you, this advertisement has been approved by so so and so authority. You get it? That is it. So there are regulations. So probably there are some products that may not be suitable to be advertised on the radio, but on the television. Okay. There are also some that may prefer that no. You can go about it through all other means, except this particular means, okay? And also sometimes they will have to regulate in terms of the time that the product ought to be advertised. So even sometimes the product can, they will allow you to advertise it on a particular medium, but they will tell you the time at which that particular advert can be played, okay? so. Government regulations also play part as far as you selecting uh, what a medium of advertising is concerned. You get it. All right. Uh, so I'd like to find out from you which authority or organization is in charge of regulating more of our advertisement. This is to the class. Yes, Caleb. Uh, the Food and Drug Authority. All right. Okay. Thank you. So that's it. Okay. Yes. All right. Chantal also wants to speak again, but I think he has said it. Yeah. All right. So, four. Another factor that ought to be considered is how popular the existing media is how popular the existing media is so i'd like to find out from you most of you watch television um which one this, this personal assessment uh, which station do you think um you you watch the most okay or you think oh, it has a lot of viewers compared to others yes caleb Say X Y Z or Joy Prime. Joy Prime, okay. That's that's his observation. Yes, uh, Amanu, which one? Do you think has a lot of viewership? TV three. All right, Amanu goes for TV three. TV. All right, uh, Monica, which one? Yes, TV3. TV3, eh? Yo. Evelyn, which one? Evelyn. All right, Shanta, which one do you think? TV3. TV3. <laughs> Uh, the last one, Jones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which one? Say, Kitty Wings. Pardon? 
I can't hear you. Kid today. Wins. Kiddy. Yo. Kiddy wins. Kiddy wins. Yo, Martin. All right. So, those are your observations. So, you realize that a lot of people were mentioning a particular TV station. Okay. So, that, that is for their assessment. Those are the most viewed uh, TV station. So, for instance, if the person wants to advertise a product, okay, then automatically that means he or she would like to go to that particular media house to advertise that particular product, okay? Because he or she believes that, oh, that station has a lot of viewership, okay? That is it. Another also factor, uh, aside how popular is you know, um, you must also consider the ones a lot of people listen to, let's say in terms of radio, okay? So probably you want to go by the radio. So you must also consider, okay, which one is popular? Which one do people listen to more in my area? Okay? Ah, in, your, in your locality, probably you want your target customers are those in your locality. Then you must consider the radio station that is more popular, that, that is mostly listened to by your people before you decide on advertising your product there. So popularity is also one of the factors that counts. Okay. All right. So let's throw by the lot of, lot of people mention a particular TV station. Okay. So the fifth one. All right, Caleb, you want to say something? Sir, yeah. sir, I don't want to see you again. Oh, okay. No problem. Don't worry. It's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. The fifth one. Religious and cultural affiliation. Okay. So, you know, religion also, religion and, fact, uh, and culture, okay, plays a critical role as far as products are concerned, okay? Yes, so um, let's say, now we have a lot of TV stations that are being owned by different, the, the major types of um, religi religious bodies that we have in Ghana, okay? So now, if you have a product that you would like to advertise, let's say a daily manner, for instance, okay? Um, which, so let me find out from you, which religion um, usually um, publishes the uh, daily manner? Yes, daily manner. Which religion usually publishes that? Yeah, they're Muslim. Are you sure? It's Christian. Our daily man. Christianity. Yeah. Which particular church? Is. Mm hmm. Go and find out. Uh, more. No, 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 Okay, so you go and find out. So, say, uh, yes, the Christ Embassy. All right, thank you. So that's it. Okay, that is it. Today, the, uh, most people are exposing themselves to so. is a Christian guide. So definitely, you have to, if you want to create awareness about it, you need to do that on any of the Christian channels, okay? And now we have a lot of TV stations that are owned by pastors, prophets, bishops, etc. 
Okay. So these are some of the factors that ought to be considered before selecting an advertising media. Sales promotion is the use of short-term incentives such as store displays, special discounts, or coupons to boost sales of a product. Okay, that is what sales promotion means. And I think most of most, most of us also witness some of these things. Okay, I think sometimes, for instance, Malcolm. Okay, there is something they do have means whereby they tell you that if you if you buy goods beyond, let's say, for instance, hundred cities, there is a particular discount that will be given to you. Okay, yeah, it it, it happens. And usually, probably that lasts for just a month. Okay, this is also a way of promoting your goods. That is why they say that sales promotion are usually of a short term. Okay, so when you are defining that, it will be good for you to include that in your definition a short term incentive. Okay, sometimes coupons. Sometimes you pick, you say buy this, they'll give you a coupon, um, a coupon after that. They will have to, have to award so so and so person and stuff. Okay. I think Malcolm again did something that um, some time ago. When you're able to shop beyond, let's say for instance, 100 cities or 200 cities, you pick, they'll give you a coupon. You text the number to a particular code. After that, after some time, they will reshuffle everything. And then if you are lucky and your code has been picked, then you might win a car. I think they have cars, television, etc. Okay. But well, these are some of the short term incentives that can be used to uh, increase sales of a product. Okay. So discounts, coupons store this place, et cetera, okay? So basically when we are talking about sales promotion, um, that is all for sales promotion, okay? Yes. Yeah, so for sales promotion, there is not enough on that, okay? There is, we don't have much to talk about on the sales promotion, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Personal selling. Personal selling. So for personal selling, so it is a direct spoken communication between sellers and potential customers. It is the it is a direct spoken communication between sellers and potential customers. All right. So this one, this is the definition, right? And what personal selling. So usually they say this is any form of unpaid, okay? When we're talking about um, advertising, we said it's a paid form of uh, presentation, okay, and promotion of a product, okay. Uh, with the personal selling, we said it is the it is unpaid form of uh, promotion, okay. Why are we saying unpaid? So usually, basically, I like advertising. I like uh, using the television to advertise your product. Where you have to go to a radio, uh, where, where you have to go to a television station, pay them before they play the video to the public. Okay, if you're a person, you, you just go, okay, one on one to the customer or the potential or prospective customer. Okay, then you talk to him or her about the product. So here, the person can see you, 
okay? A person can even touch you, probably if, that's, if he or she wants to, okay? And with that, if the person have any form of question, directly he or she can also ask you, okay? Unlike the use of television to promote your goals. You get it? Yes. So basically, that is it. That's what they said. It is the direct spoken communication. Okay, so you can see. So probably Chantal is selling, let's say, uh, cloth. Yeah, I think she sells cloth. So probably she is the seller of cloth. So she comes to your place, uh, tell you, okay, I have GTP. This, we have the, we have new types of GTP now. We have lockdown. Mm -hmm. We have coronavirus prints, etc. All these prints. She'll make them available to you. So then you can see them and even feel it. Okay, but with the advertising via television, you may not have feel the texture, etc. Okay, so personal selling also comes with its own advantages and disadvantages as well. Okay, so now you can show Obama cloth, you can show the lockdown print, coronavirus print, uh, quarantine print, isolation print, all those things. Okay, you can fill those cloth. Then finally decide, oh, okay, I want the uh, lockdown print. Okay, or I want the so so and so print. So these are some of the advantages that come with the personal selling. Okay. So if the personal selling it also has to do with the use of more of human effort, okay? This is not a video where they just press the button and then everything plays, no, okay? This one, one-on-one, -on -one, keep talking to the person. So if, if they are low, if it's a busy day and you want to get all of customers, then that means definitely Definitely, you will, like, you will have to be talking to them one after the other, going from shop to shop or from one person to the other, just to convince them enough to be able to purchase your product, okay? So that is what the uh, personal selling is all about, okay? All right. Then, so now we, we, we talked about advertising, okay? We looked at sales promotion. We looked at personal selling, okay? Then we have to look at the fourth one, which is public relations. Public relations, public relations. Let's look at the definition. It is a promotional tool which is concerned with creating conditions to promote image. That's one. Reputation and goodwill of an organization and its products to the general public. I'm going over again. It is a promotional tool which is concerned with the with creating conditions to promote image, reputation, and goodwill of an organization and its products to the general public. All right. So we are talking about public relation. Basically, this is what it means, okay? You're promoting the image and the reputation of the organization and its products, okay? That, that, is, that is what I was trying to find out for you, whether you've heard the, whether you heard public relation officer before, okay? So that we can link what you think they are doing to, to this, okay? All right, but basically with public relations, most of you, 
people who are in that particular office are known as uh, public relations officers. Okay, or you hear PR, PR, okay, or PRO. Okay, so this is also one form of advertising, uh, promoting, promotion. It's also one of the major forms of promotion. Okay, so what they do is they ensure that they create a good image about you. Okay, that's in your organization or your product to the general public. Basically, that is what they do. That is why I'll, um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the public relations officer. That is why most of you realize that when there's a problem or when people need a lot of information, okay, concerning an organization or some activities that they are into, or probably a media house have received a complaint about a particular organization, the first person to call is the PRO, that's the public relations officer of that organization. Okay, what do they want? They want more information from such a person. Okay, so you realize that this is also a, a program on its own that is being offered by some of our ter tertiary institutions. Okay, they have a four year degree course in all these things, public relations, a four year course in this. Okay, so their primary tax is to ensure that they promote your image or the goodwill of the organization. Okay, that is what they usually do. And we will we'll look at some of the PR tools. Okay, some of the tools or some of the things that they usually use to achieve these objectives. That's promoting the image and reputation and the goodwill of the organization in this product. One is publicity, okay? Publicity. So usually with publicity, what happens is that most of him, okay, you, you may not have paid for it, okay? But probably whilst carrying out uh, any of your duties, or any of your social corporate responsibilities, okay? Probably the, some media houses may have to um, uh, broadcast what went on during a particular, um, let's say, ceremony. Okay, so let's assume um, 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 what would you say? Let's assume, I think recently Stoneboy held a skill training, okay, for people at Ashama, okay. So Stoneboy is organizing his show. Then let's assume Nawax brand, okay, Nawax career guide brand, okay. We also decide that okay, uh, since you are into skill training, we also assist by providing some form of um, assistance. Okay, when it comes to let's say back it and uh, batik tie and die, how to go about it and stuff. Nawax will also assist with that. Okay, so you realize that it is a beam show or, or skill training that is going on. But once a brand like Nawax is also coming to assist the beam brand, you realize that when people or when the when the media men or women are trying to report on what Stoneboy is doing, automatically Nawax will come into their reportage. Okay, so with that, people will get to hear of Nawax as a brand on its own. You get it. So usually for the publicity, you don't usually pay for it. Okay, yes. So this publicity can be used positively and negatively. As that is why sometimes you see that some people will just uh, take certain form of videos and then decide to publish them. That's like that just to create some form of attention for themselves. Okay, so publicity can be in a bad form and also in a good form, depending on how you go about it or how you look at it, how you look at it. Okay, so usually for the publicity, you don't usually pay for it. Okay, for people usually to hear of you, but probably as a result of your deed. Okay, it can also be in the form of donation. Okay, so there is an event going on 
and then you decide to go and make some donation. Automatically, your name will come in when they are trying to uh, talk, when they, when they are talking about such an event or ceremony, okay? So that's what publicity means. Uh, then advertising. For advertising or advertising, you already know what it is. Uh, we spoke at the length about advertising. So publicity non paid, advertising, you pay. Okay, yes, so you can decide to also pay and then showcase or create awareness about the organization's product or services. Okay, and then we have press agents. Press agents. So basically, what press agents do is that they ensure that they consistently create awareness or promote your brand, okay? When it has to do with the name of your organization or let's say it has to do with your product, they consistently make sure that they create awareness about your name or your product in the system, just to keep on reminding customers about it, okay? All right, then the last one, we have fun raising. Fun raising. Don't forget, we are still on some of the PR tools, public relations tools, some of the things they use to achieve their objective. Okay, so you we have fun raising. So, probably what I'm going on is that, um, let's say an organization, let's say we have a charity organization that organized an annual fundraising program okay yes so probably organization also want to support so what do you do you go create awareness about the organization you are representing and then tell them the amount of money that you want or would like to donate as on an organization okay so for the first time people might have be hearing of your, your organization, okay? There are a lot of organizations, but sometimes unless special location, we do not hear of them. So one of the techniques or one of the tools that can be used to achieve our objective, that is to promote the image, reputation, and then the goodwill of organization and new products to the general public is to ensure that we make, we, we attend such occasions, okay? Just to create awareness about our organization and then some of our activities, okay? So um, boys and girls, um, this is the end of our lesson for today. Um, we have a reading assignment, which is read on the methods a firm can use to promote its public relations. Okay, use that. Use that to achieve. Is that? And I believe that is all. Um, if there is no questions, then I'll say um, this is the end of our lesson for today. Okay. So, I'd like to thank you for your attention and then enjoy the rest of the day. Bye. Please, any questions? If you have any.